here. And as you can see in the tail of the tape, both athletes basically the same age, same exact height, both of them on weight professionally, and both of them Muay Thai fighters. I mean, if when you say both of them a lot of times in the tail of the tape, you can ex ex expect a very exciting fight. We'll head now to Tom Munoz and see what he has to say about these two amazing and funny characters. E vamos agora ao quarto combate de hoje, luta de MMA, categoria Peso Galo, luta com três rounds de cinco minutos. Eu apresento o primeiro lutador do Corner Azul, lutador com 11 vitórias, três derrotas, um empate, 23 anos, 1,73m de altura, pesou 60 quilos, 800 gramas. Representando a equipe Fusion Fight da cidade do Rio de Janeiro, Caiona Blade! E o seu adversário do Corner Vermelho, lutador com 11 vitórias, duas derrotas, 24 anos, 1,73m de altura, pesou 61 quilos, 100 gramas. Representando a equipe Sombra Team da cidade de Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul, Vinícius Prego Lockdog! O árbitro responsável pelo combate, Eric Ferreira. Both fighters have been announced, and the judge, Eric, will be in charge of this combat. You can see Vinícius Lockdog, very dangerous fighter, going against Kion and Blade has all the ingredients to be a very explosive fight so don't blink if you're if you're done with your beer wait a little bit don't go to the fridge and get another and let it let it get a little bit colder because you're definitely going to need one yeah, you, after this fight you don't want to miss that fight trust me the cage is closed eric says time to fight let's see what's going to happen a lot of talking during the past couple of months and it all ends now kind of blade versus prego Lockdog. Here at Future MMA 10, live from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Reminding you that Future MMA is brought to you by private internet access. Always use protection. Flex power. Get moving, stay moving. Bravo QA. Dia Dia Media. And Kluma. Vinicius Lockdog. Good cage movement, always circling. But Kyron and Blade is trying to look for that closing. Like, like we said, Tiago, Lockdog very unorthodox we saw that heel hook he threw always oh, already going for that leg when you fight somebody that's unorthodox like lock dog it's i mean you can expect anything that's how dangerous he is yes, yes. and in, in, in other hand kyle blade is very orthodox you know yes his his, his rent his hands are in the right place he he moves forward you know he has a very orthodox fighter it, it's a great matchup that, exactly. That fight is amazing. It's a great matchup in all in, in and out of the cage. Kyron on Blade with his back on the cage. Vinicius Lockdog is down. We don't know if he slipped or if that was a punch that connected. Already on that pressure and Lockdog already turning things around. Kyron on Blade once again has his back on the cage. Nice takedown. He's going for that takedown. Blade defended very, very wisely. Things have been turning around in this cage for the past couple of seconds. Let's see who ends this with his back in the cage. Lockdog trying to put an end to that twist around going apparently tr attempting a takedown when he whips that leg around good nice. throw by Thank lock dog and he's smiling look at that that's a character kind of blade with his head on the cage again not a comfortable position lock dog trying to stay busy throwing some punches trying to keep heavy on kind of hips kind of kind of trying to wall walk yes trying to wall walk lock dog already on the back another, another takedown take by lock dog kind of getting back up again going for the Ooh. back good transitioning by lock dog yeah. and he just doesn't stop like we say tiago we have to see how much he can take that pressure and that was a good a good mm. take the takedown attempt kind of blade didn't take that very well i mean he, he's oh, going he has for the that guillotine is, is that guillotine trying to look tight it looks lock tight. dog has to defend that Looks like he's attempting to, to defend that, doing that hand fighting. Ooh, he, he gave up the position. Sometimes when you try um, to get the, the guillotine done too much, you get exhausted. 
Because you have exactly. to use a lot of strength. It's a waste of energy if, if, you're, if it's not a position that you're used to doing. It's, and it's not a strong position. Especially in the beginning of the fight. Exactly. Lock Dog once again putting pressure on Blade. Blade can't keep his back on the cage for too long because he's been taken down at least four times by Lock Dog, who is showing a very efficient takedown game. And it's working. He's going for that. Another takedown. Another takedown. Very well executed. Going for that bat. You know, I, th I think Lock Dog is he's transitioning too quick. He's not letting yes. the position sit yes. in. He's going for that back attempt, and sometimes Blade is just turning around, and he's, and he's losing energy. He's, lo he's wasting time. So, I mean, it's been, at, at least I've counted, six takedowns for Lock Dog. Count on Blade is definitely behind in this first round. As we head to basically one minute and 30 seconds left to the end of the first. Lock dog. Lock dog. He's, he's, looks he's, he's, tired. He's, he's trying to look tired. I think that's just something. He's being a character. You can I'm, see it in his face. I'm, I'm not sure. He was breathing very heavy. I think, I think he's just faking it. Really? There you go. See? He's faking it. He's a character. Kind of Blade looking for that pressure. He's kind of Blade believing that Lock Dog is tired. Nice. Stiff jab by Lock Dog. Lock Dog keeping that good, efficient head movement. Nice. nice. Lock Dog. Good Ooh, spinning kick. Beautiful. Look at that. Good. He shot very well for that double leg. Let's see if Kyron Blade can defend that. 45 seconds left to the end of the first round. Kyron Blade facing Vinicius Lock Dog. You're at Future MMA 10. Another takedown, takedown computed for Lock Dog. If things continue the way they are, Tiago, Lock Dog will take this first round basically because of the takedown. Blade with his back on the cage. Doesn't look like he's attempting to get back up. Trying to get back up. Lock Dog, nice elbow throw attempt by Blade. Didn't connect. Lock Dog walking back. 12 nice. seconds Good left job. to the end of the first. That's the 10 second bell. First round about to end here in this bout that a lot of people have been talking about during the week. That was supposed to be one of the best bouts of the night. Tiago, first round ends. Lock Dog and these guys are trying to put it in. Vinicius Lock Dog always trying to get into his opponent's head. And yes. he doesn't care if he's in the cage or not. Lock Dog is teasing Kion and Blade since the, the beginning of the week. Um, I believe Lock Dog was a better fighter. Uh, he took the fight to the ground several times. Um, he connected the, the best the best strikers. So no questions about his victory on the first round. As you can see in the replay, that's brought to you by Kluma. Vinicius Lock Dog being very efficient. Very technical, good, efficient takedowns during this first round. Count and Blade definitely didn't defend himself the way he should. Took some damage to the ground as far as the judges, uh, you know, being said. That's that was a beautiful and, and kick. Vinicius Lock Dog, an, ortho an unorthodox fighter. Double spinning heel hook. I mean, that's crazy. And it connected. And know. it connected, yes. <laughs> so that's even more amazing. And it wasn't that clear, but he connected. Like I said, we, we, we never know what to expect from Vinicius Lock Dog. He showed that in the first round. Let's see what else he has to show us here in the second round. And let's see if Kyan and Blade can make a turnaround. You know, first round wasn't too good for him. He felt the pressure, was taken down a couple of times. Let's see if his corners had, had wise advice yes. and if he could put that into play here in the second. Let's see what, what he's going to change in his game. Because definitely the, the game that he was trying to do didn't work. Second round underway here at Future nice MMA 10 kick. from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Kick. Chopping leg kick by Vinicius Lock Dog. You know, he wants to begin the second round. He wants to, to affect Blade's movement. I mean, he's going straight for the legs. Three kicks, four kicks. He's, he's just kicking. Nice takedown by kind of Blade. Very quick. Taking now, control of that heel. He's going for ooh. that rear naked choke. Oh, tight. Vinicius Lock Dog ooh, nice at the right elbow. time. That elbow connected very well. Kind of Blade looks very concentrated. Vinicius Lock Dog always being unorthodox blade walking forward consciously moving old shoulders and head Vinicius lock dog slipping very well out of blades punches yeah. we see now that kind of blade is doing the exactly same thing that lock dog was doing exactly walking and forward trying to put pressure and trying to take them exactly you know his corners might have told him that he lost the first round so he has to be more efficient in the second in order to take this round to his team so lock dog being a lot more defensive here in the second round. I, I, I feel him a lot different. Good left hand by Kyan Blade. 
Lock Dog appears to be tired now. I don't think he's faking it now. Mm. Nice one twos by Blade and, and Lock Dog. And looks like he felt that. Great head movement for both fighters. Nice mm. uppercut attempt. You know, Blade was knocked out in the last seconds of the fight against Paulo Pizzo, so he definitely doesn't want that to happen again. He has to be very conscious. Lock Dog spinning out of the position, getting out of the cage. Blade yeah. keeps walking. Another leg kick by Lock Dog. Blade putting on the pressure. Lock Dog has been basically this entire round with his back close to the cage, which is totally different from what we saw in the first, Thiago. Yeah. Um, Vinicius Lock Dog took the fight down several times, as, as we said before, and it, 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 it has a price for that. It, it takes a lot of energy, so he might he might be actual tired. Nice kick. Exactly. You can see that he's being a little sloppy on those kicks, and you can't be sloppy with the guy like Kyron and Blade in front of you. Kind of very dangerous, has heavy hands, knows how to knock somebody out. So if Vinicius Lock Dog keeps being sloppy like that, that there can be a very bad ending to what he's trying to do here tonight. Nice leg kick by Good, left hand by Blade. Vinicius Lock Dog immediately shoots for that double leg and he takes Blade Beautiful. down once again. Blade trying to defend it. Nice arm under that, the, uh, the underarm of. Vinicius, but Lock Dog being very smart, very quick, very technical, going for that that hand wrap under his hip, making things more difficult for Kyron Nunn. He's, he's probably going to attempt to put Kyron Nunn to the side so he can put his back on the canvas. There he goes, a la Damian Maya, a la Damian Maya, crossing those legs and making things different for. And they're they're, 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 they're talking a little bit, they're, they're chatting. <laughs> you know, that that's Lock Dog inside the cage. He's Lock Dog and Kyron yeah, Blade. I mean, they're talking. They're talking each other, and you know, hey, you, you okay? I mean, you want us to change anything? You know, do, do you want to quit right now? Yeah. <laughs> can I keep going? Can we go home? Or, you know, can we end this? So you know, one minute and forty-five seconds left. I I got to admit, I'm very surprised with Lock Dog takedown. Yes, exactly. It's very good. It's in the right time. He's using the right amount of strength. Um, he's being very technical. And he's being very efficient. He's showing that he's very technical. And he's got very secure takedowns. He, he knows what to do when, yes. he, when he lands a takedown, which is very hard to see. I wasn't expecting it from, from Lockdown. I, I, must, I must be honest. He's raining down bombs. All, kind of blade going for that leg, trying to defend himself and get back up. If he gets up with that leg, he could attempt a takedown. He's going for that takedown. He's got to. He's got to sweep that leg. Kind of blade with his back against the cage once again. A little over one minute left here in the second round. Future MMA 10 live from São Paulo, Brazil. Last future MMA of the year. 2019 was a great and exciting year for future MMA. Lock Dog continues putting pressure on Blade. And like we said, this is exactly what we saw in the beginning of the first. Blade being pressured on the cage. Lock Dog putting pressure and trying to keep busy. Let's see if it's, this is the way the second round is going to end. Locked on one Another more takedown. Another beautiful takedown. Wow. You know. Let's see if Lock if Lock Dog has enough gas in his tank to 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 fight the third round the same way. Exactly. Exactly. L look at look at his belly. He's yes, breathing hard. Yes, exactly. And you know what? Things have changed in this second round. He's got him on position. He, Lock Dog raining down bombs. A beautiful elbow. About looking 20 for that mount. seconds. 15 seconds. He has 15 seconds to work and knock out Kyron and Blade and take the W home. Kyron and Blade has to move himself. 10 second warning to the end of the second round. Nice top mount by Vinicius Lock Dog going oh, for that arm bar. Blade wow. slipping out. That was a beautiful transition. I, I, you know what, Tiago? That comes in to what we said in the first round. Vinicius Lock Dog sometimes hesitates and he tries to make things move yes, faster yes. than they should. He shouldn't have gone for that arm bar that quick. He had to hold the position. So, Tiago, Tiago, second round, very busy. Kind of blade started better. Yes, and this ended better. Who do you think? I be, I believe Lock Dog was better. I believe that, uh, he won the second round too. As as you can see in the replay, bro, you buy private internet access. Lock Dog could have nice takedowns just like that one. Um, exactly. That was actually in the first round. Uh, yeah, both both of them were in the first round. But anyway, he he got some takedowns. He was a a, a, a little sloppy in in, in the end. But once he took the fight to the ground, he was dominant. Exactly. Um, Blade definitely started better. He probably was told by his corners that he lost the first. Came back to the second, putting some pressure in the beginning. Lock Dog actually looked a little confused, but he found himself from the middle to the end of the second, put his game into play once again. Things looked very similar to the first. 
Um, third round is about to go, and we'll see if Kyle is going to be more aggressive and if Lockdog is going to keep putting the pressure the same way he did in the first and second. Vinicius Locked Dog. Eager for third round. Kind of blade, Locked you know, Dog, touching gloves. hands. Third round is up. Future MMA 10 live from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Locked Dog starting with the left hand and followed by a low kick. Nice left nice hand by Locked Dog. Kind of blade has to move a little bit more. He can't be, be still in front of Locked Dog. Locked Dog has dangerous hands, quick hands. Kyon and Blade, Kion and Blade still is very composed, right? Exactly. He doesn't lose the focus. Eyes on the prize, baby. Composed and Locked Dog still doing that same thing. He looks tired. <laughs> but when things happen, he knows what to do. And Kyon and Blade is just walking forward. And sometimes that's not the best solution. If you keep walking forward to a guy that's unorthodox, strikes can come from anywhere. Exactly. Especially when you're talking about Locked Dog. Lock Dog starting better. Blade trying to put the pressure here in the beginning of the third. Let's see what Lock Dog has to offer and if Blade can put the pressure that he has to put in order to take this fight home. In, in the second round, um, Lock Dog was doing the same thing in the beginning of the round. I believe he's saving energy to, to another sprint in the end of the round. Being very smart. Exactly. Blade once again. Nice kick attempt by Vinicius Lock Dog. Kind of blade looking for that pressure. Vinicius Locked Dog still moving. Nice body kick. Nice body Good kick. overhand right by Kind of Blade. Oh. Did Vinicius Locked Dog look a little wobbly there? And, and, and he's Dog, calling for the in fight. You know, Locked Dog wants wow. to fight. He wants to fight. Stiff jab by Vinicius Locked Dog calling Blade. Blade can't get into this kind of game here because this is what Locked Dog wants. Nice Ooh. leg kick countered by Blade. To, to tease the opponent is part of Lock Dog's exactly. game. Exactly, that's right. what he does. He, he's a specialist in doing that. Blade can't get into this type of game because yeah. this is what favors Lock Dog. He looks tired. He's trying to get into Blade's head to make sure that he has time to think of what to do. Blade turns things around. Now Lock Dog with his back on the cage. A knee attempt by Lock Dog. Going for that single leg. Blade trying to defend another knee. Landed by Lock Dog. Half of the round is underway. Kyle and Blade has a little over two minutes and 30 seconds to turn nice things one, around. Two. Good overhand right attempt by Blade. Didn't connect. Vinicius Lock Dog slipped wisely. Eye poke. We have an apparent eye poke, and the judge didn't stop, so Vinicius Lock Dog is on it like a fat kid is on cake. And there we have it. A good spinning nice heel tap by Lock Dog. Ooh. There we have those Capoeira kicks. Good inside leg kick by Lock Dog. Look at that, man. Look at that. Lock Dog is moving very smoothly, and Count and Blade is definitely very frustrated right now. And when you're throwing punches in the air like that, you can't find your opponent. A guillotine attempt, trying to get it tight. Lock Dog can't. Does he get it? Yeah, well, I can't see it from here, but I mean, he's definitely got both hands locked. Apparently, Lock Dog is fighting hands in the right way. He's out. Looks tired, but doesn't stop a good Ooh, nice. right hand. Look at that. Lock Dog playing a little bit more. Kyle no Blade catching that leg once again. Look, I mean, Lock Dog is just out of this world. And Kyle no Blade is just starting to, to, to get in. And, and Lock Dog's game. Yes, exactly. He, he's, he's, he's frustrating. You yes. know, he's being frustrated, and, and Lock Dog is doing exactly what he has to do to take one more round. Blade has nowhere to go. If he doesn't change his mindset right now, he has to get back to his strategy. He has to stick to it. Look at that. Punching attempt, lands on a mount. Blade flips over. Good defense going for that ankle pick. Elbows to the body. Lock one, Dog trying to stay busy. One minute to go. Let's see what happens. Exactly. Final minute of this third round. Lock Dog, good flip over. Kind of Blade has to get to work here. He's got over 40 seconds to turn things around, knock Vinicius out, or submit him. Because until now, Vinicius has definitely been superior. Look at that movement. Look, yeah, once again, he was trying to, to go to the arm bar. Yeah. Like before he established the exactly. position. He was wise enough to come back. But he's transitioning from one position to another very quickly. And that can bother him because Kyle is slippery. He's, he's been sweating for two, three, three, maybe probably three entire rounds. And 
the problem is not it, it it's not about being quick or not it's about not having pressure it's about being effective yes because usually you lose uh, pressure I I if you're moving too fast exactly 10 second warning here in the third and final round between vinicius lock dog and kind blade vinicius lock dog a little of the same that he's been doing in the first and second tiago bouts over a very expected fight for the night a very expected fight. what can you say about this bout and who in your eyes will get their arm raised when announced by tom Williams? i believe lock dog was a better fighter tonight um it, it was a, it was somehow a close fight. I, I believe Kyon and Blade could could have won the the second round, but Lock Dog won at least the first and the third round. So I would say Lock Dog is the winner tonight. I agree. I agree. As you can see in the replay, that's brought to you by Bravo QA. Lock Dog being very efficient, very unorthodox as he always is. Kyon and Blade got a little bit into that. Um, game that that lock dog likes to play he tries to get into the head of his opponents and he was very effective during the three rounds did what he had to do it was a lot of talking during the entire week but he talked a lot and he did a lot so he showed that he's superior and another guy to keep your eye on knows how to promote himself knows how to promote the fight which is very important for organizations and definitely has a bright future inside mma there you can see the sportsmanship you know you talk a lot before but that's what it's all about you know fighting throwing hands doing what you have to do and then that coming up to your opponent and you know saying hey let's, let's have some burgers that new remi that reminds me uh, habib nurmagomedov against conor mcgregor when conor mcgregor said hey, hey dude it, it's only business <laughs> you know it's only business they, they are trying to promote the fight but, th but they don't hate each other um it's part of lock dog's game uh, he, he's not a, he's not a dig you know He's, he's, a, he's a nice guy, but he needs to do something to promote himself. And, and that's the way he found. Exactly. And, and, and he's been doing that very well. Vinicius Lockdog has been promoting himself very well. Um, he's been doing that very well here in future. And, you know, he's planted a good seed. And he's trying, you know, he, he's able to, after good fights, pick what he what he. E vamos ao resultado oficial da quarta luta da noite. Após três rounds de cinco minutos, os três juízes pontuaram 30-27, declarando o vencedor por decisão unânime, Vinícius Prego Lockdown! Unanimous decision as expected. Exactly. Vinícius Lockdog taking the W home. A lot was said. Everything was, was, was solved inside the future MMA Decagon. Let's hear the words of Vinicius Lockdog in Fasto Doria's mind. First of all, congratulations on the win. Tough fight. You guys are set to be the prospects of the division. You know, you're unorthodox and you throw things that we're not used to seeing. Tell me, talk about what it all felt like in your head and did you put into play everything that you had to? Give me the mic. Well, first of all, I want to thank George, everybody from Future, you know, everybody, you know, everybody that's here to see me, you put my game in play, everybody from Batalha da Aldeia, if there's a guy that's going to hit me, I'm going to hit you with a gun, because I'm your terror, I'm going to hit you with a gun, you can hit me with a gun, okay, so, I think it's time, I think it's time, the division belt. You know, I, I, I want to beat him here in the middle. I want to get with mine. Thank everybody. I want to thank my family, my team. Thank you. Thank Master Rafael Sombra. You know, without him, I wouldn't exist. You know what? I'm good. Standing up on the ground. And he gives the mic back to Tasu Doria. You know, I was afraid he was going to walk out running with that mic, and <laughs> Tasu Doria was a little bit afraid there. I mean, I, I, I could saw I, I saw by his face that you know, I was a little.